Short tongue, cause you don't wanna piss off anyone. We're traumatized by the damage done. Welcome to America. Backstage Sonic Temple 2023. It's Matt Pinfield and Josh Bernstein, and we are here with Ronnie Racky and Luke. Guys from Falling in Reverse. So good to have you, man. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thanks I, for having us. I, I forgot to put the owner on. Did I just you? realized, yeah. I, I, Cancel the interview. Yeah. 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 Like, no deodorant. I actually have some in my bag if you really okay, need it before. So, so it's so good to see you, man. You know, it's uh we were jamming uh the Watch the World Burn video, obviously, and Zombified. Oh, it's, I love what you do as far as, you know, how you put all the art into what you do when it comes to your visuals. Obviously, live, you always crush it, and you always have. Thank you. But um, That shit's hard live, by the way. Yeah. I know you're not supposed to, you're supposed to pretend like everything you do is easy, and that's what makes the mystique, but, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard. It's, it's taxing, and then, you know, and I like that, though. Knowing when you're in the studio and you're making it, you're like, this is gonna be hard. I'm like, oh, we'll figure. We'll, we'll figure Especially it out. Especially because yeah. there's so much going on in. Like, take that song, "Watch We're Burning." All the different things you're doing in it, and different directions you're taking the song. It's got to be one of those ones. It's definitely hard when you're doing it live. I mean, it's it put you have to put a yeah, lot into uh, it. Yeah, and we put it out. I put it out for the fans that have like liked the rap and the rock, like. 10 years ago when I was doing it. Yeah. And I, you know, this ain't going to be a big song. I was telling him, I'm like, this is not going to be that big. It's not going to be like Popular Monster or Voices in My Head. There's no yeah. way. Right. And uh, it's the biggest song. It's like the biggest song by far. Like, yeah. if you go look at the streams, like, relatively speaking, from Popular Monster, like, the, I can't believe it. it there's no chorus. And um, I'm just really grateful that, I mean, I'm surprised, so that's I'm just grateful yeah. for that. I, I got to say, though, all of us, when we first heard it, like when, when it was all finished, we were like, this song's going to be huge. Like, I, I knew. I knew. You guys yeah, did, we, yeah. You know, I'm in my I know, head, I know, I know. Because you know, you, you've heard you, it a million times at that point, so you get yeah. sucked out of like, yeah. but we hear it for the first time, we're like, oh, this is going to be huge. Yeah, the ending made you, you like, yeah. 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 Well, was it's like, funny, oh, as you oh, mentioned, right, there's, there, there's not a traditional course, it doesn't repeat ever, right? So like that. The traditional songs that work on radio don't follow that formula. So for it exactly. to, to work, and, and, and frankly, it just gets better and better and more intense. The video is, of course, Helps. incredible, right? It's like the part of it looked like I was watching Star Wars. You know, it was, it yeah. was so uh, epic. Yeah. So, Thank you. Um, and also, like you know, knowing obviously all the stuff with the, you know your beliefs in the news, it just what it was. It was everything there. It was almost like a finished thought. I don't yeah. know. We loved it. Yeah. Our audience loved it. It was it was very popular. Number and, one on our countdown. Yeah, there so might be a. Great. Yeah. Oh, that's insane. Thank yeah. you. It yeah, was, uh, there might be a sequel. So yeah, stay there might tuned. be a sequel to that. So we'll see. I'm yeah. excited. Yeah, I heard some rumors that you guys are working on a new clip and some new songs and i'm excited yeah. about that so yeah we're we're sure. ready to embrace it when it comes okay. yeah it's been great how so has, has it been fun you, you're you're a veteran to these festivals i've seen you yeah. crush it so many times and just like you know there's such a love for falling in reverse and and just like so much love and support talk to me about what is, what is your favorite thing about doing festivals is it the people that haven't seen you yet that you're winning over or is it Tell me about that it. is definitely the number one. Uh, you know, you, Watch the World Burn is kind of like, you could kind of tell that it's like a, like I need to prove something to people kind of thing. And I have that mentality, like, you know, like any battle rapper, like I need to prove something. I, like Eminem, he needed to prove something. He was white in a, in a, in a black culture rapping and stuff. And he even says in interviews, just constantly ha- feel like I need to like prove you wrong. And, and I love that when there's, you know, a bunch of, you know, maybe naysayers are in the back or something. I love that because I know I watch like 
people that were fans of the band that comes after us, you know, like Tool or uh, uh, like Kiss or something that are not really aware of the new stuff, of the newer bands, uh, they'll start, they'll be watching. By the third song, they're like, and I'm like, yes, dude, those are the people, that's why I like playing, especially Danny Wimmer festivals, because the way he treats the artists as well backstage, because there's a lot of, there's a lot of festivals I've played where it's, you know, you know what I mean? Where you go backstage and it's not up to, you know, the artist liking and stuff like that. He really goes all, uh, all out backstage and treats the artists and makes sure the artist is comfortable and stuff too. So, and it's huge. I mean, there's like 50,000, how many people are here? Yeah. Oh yeah, there'll be like 40, 50,000. It's insane. And it is, and it just proves that rock is, is alive and well and the rock community is the most true and devoted community correct in music yeah. and genre i i believe and i see it i see it every day and it's because there's a camaraderie there's a family vibe there's a there's a thing where people stay with you it's not fair weather and that's a good thing too, right? yeah so yeah you guys feel about it yeah pop culture can be really fickle i feel like yeah. like people can love this artist one day and then like the next day like, i don't really care but like I mean, I've, you know, obviously I've only been playing for this band like two and a half years or so, yeah. but I can see people that were fans of like the old, even Escape the Fate when he was in Escape the Fate that are still here for like this new era Appreci of Fallen Universe. I appreciate Universe, that. You know? I appreciate those fans, you know, and all the new fans as well, because it feels good knowing that the old fans are still there, but it feels just as good when you look out and you're like, you don't look like you'd be my fan now yeah. and yeah. that's from all the radio play and i'm like yes you tapped into that market yeah. and they actually like me you know like that's that's sick they like the band and stuff you know so you yeah know, it's, it's i sick. remember i have a, a, a distinct memory i i was back when i was the art director of revolver we did the 100 greatest living rock stars issue and at the time you know we had gene simmons and axel rose and we had an argument we're like we're gonna put on three young guys it was you and Andy uh, and Ben, uh, I'm sorry, um, Danny from Ask Alexandria at the time. And I was like, who are these guys? I'm like, trust me, trust me, trust me. Thank you for being wow. very successful now. Because now we look. Because like, you proved that you, yeah. Because there were a lot of people like, well, who are these guys? Hey, man, I, I didn't was, realize that was you. That was yeah. awesome. You came to the Golden Gods that year. And I want to tell you, a couple years later, we did one of my favorite moments of my career. We, we had you and Coolio play at the AP Awards. And you don't know this. But Joe Perry from Aerosmith came up to me with the joint, and he's like, "Who the fuck are those guys?" Stop, dude. I said, that's so falling, sick. Falling reverse. He goes, "Cool, cool." Yeah. And you're up there uh, with. Um, that's incredible. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Thank Tyler you for from telling Issues. Me that. Yeah. And I'm glad you told me that now because if you had told me that, I wouldn't have appreciated. No one it believed as much. that Joe Perry was there. Someone's like, "Who is that?" Joe Perry. I'm like, "Nah, it just looks like." Bro, him. I didn't want to tell me this with. ten years later. I, I wanted to long? save it for this interview. That's incredible. Yeah. But we had a great cool? moment at the Rock Hall. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. Joe makes me Perry, like, dude, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like Coolio. Really you know, we recently yeah. lost Coolio, yeah, but that moment, Coolio for sure. we yeah. opened up the show with them. Yeah. They came out. Uh, were you the account? We you were like the accountants, right? You came out with like a briefcase uh, or something. They, you know, I don't uh, remember the bit. It was uh, so stupid. The, I know all press asked me to do this, and they've been so good to me. They were they were so good to me, and I just felt like I, I needed to do it. I, I, I'm part I of the cringe. good. I'm part of the good part. Anything that happened after I left, I can't speak to. But. I cringe <laughs> when I see that part. I'm like, but that part we had so much fun, yeah. and they did Gangsters Paradise up there, and you know, obviously with Coolio passing away recently, I, I rewatched the footage, you know, and um, uh, it it's such a great moment. We're at the Rock and Roll Hall yeah. of Fame, and back in there. And they, these guys absolutely killed it. Thank you. Know, you. It was so cool. It was so much fun. And you know what's cool about that is, you know how me and Coolio, uh, came, like that song came yeah. about? Yeah. He reached out to us and I was like, huh? And he's like, uh, uh, my kid love, my kids love you. Oh, was that, was that the background? Like, oh, that's yeah. cool. It's like, all right, let's make a video. And, yeah. you know, I was like, okay, let's, you know, so it was just like a, it was like very natural way of doing yeah. it, organic way, instead of like kind of it trying something to ask beautiful. them to do it and stuff. Yeah. You know? That first year we didn't, you know, I'd done the Golden Gods for years and they were like, okay, we're gonna create one for Alternative Press. What would this even look like? And that's why that best, that first year was the best. We had no yeah. idea, you know, uh, Pank of the Disco sang Sinatra songs. You guys played with Coolio. Yeah. It was just sort of, it was never that beautiful ever again, but that, yeah, yeah, yeah. that moment was so cool. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. And obviously rest in peace, Coolio, but a yeah. great moment. That's um, awesome. And I said, like, from that day on, I think you guys have just gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. I and yeah, I can't believe what's happening now. I'm very grateful, you know, and uh, I, I just, I, 
I went and looked at Watch the World Burn compared to Voices, because Voices in My Head is so big, it, yeah. it, live and stuff, and like streams, and it, this just is surpassing it, and I just, yeah. like it doesn't have a chorus. And Zombify before that was crushed too. Yeah, uh, That was a radio banger for yeah, sure. That was. went to number one at radio and stuff. Yeah. I, I was like, wow, you know, so. So it's like. Yeah. Yeah, and I like that. Yeah, and you guys, you've certainly done your time, and you know you've been working as a great band for a long time. It's great. Yeah, I feel like now is more is a good time for this to happen, and not when you're young and uh, full of, full of crap. Usually, yeah. you know, when you like have to learn a lot of things. Yeah. I still got a lot of things to learn, but I'm just glad that it's happening more now, and not when I was young, really young. You know, yeah. so. Yeah, it's a great expression. I know we have a mutual friend, Mr. Mr. Jericho. Um, oh yeah. Uh, it takes a lot of years to become an overnight success, right? Yeah. Ten and years or something. Is that the yeah? yeah this, right. It takes. I love many, that. Many I love Chris. Jer shout out to Chris Jericho, yeah, by the way. Yeah, it's Chris, great. if you're watching, uh, we'll see you soon. Um, yeah, he's coming on the show uh, in a couple weeks. Yeah, it's great. Um, great. Well, it's so great. And now, we guys, it was just announced. Obviously, a couple weeks ago, you guys are going to be. I think on the tour of the summer, you guys, Avenged Sevenfold, Living Color. What's that? You know, what, are you excited to play those shows? Madison Square Garden. That's got to be top of the food chain. That's you know, Sinatra played there, right? So yeah. it's insane. Pretty wild, for sure. I saw Queen there, saw Aerosmith there, saw a million bands. Bro, that's videos. sick. When you tell me these those things, when you see like Queen, like yeah. Queen's one of my favorite bands. Yeah, you know? I saw I know. them twice with Freddie. Like, I saw them not that's at the opera really tour. That's really sick, dude. And it was unbelievable. I saw them at the theater first, Beacon Theater. It was like, about changed that. my yeah. life. Remember we talked yeah, about yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then a year later with Thin Lizzy opening Date the Racist when they did t open with Tire Mother down at the Garden. When that's it got big cool, enough to play. That's a cool story and a memory to have that. I wish... Yeah. I, I could have experienced something like that, you know, but I, I have but some. You're that, but you're that, but you're that for someone out there that's young. Yeah. Sure. That will remember like I do yeah. about Queen. They'll be like, I saw Falling in Reverse yeah. then and, I, and it was unbelievable and it will always have that blueprint. You know yeah. what I mean? It'll be there. I saw him at Jerry's Pizza in, uh, <laughs> at, what's that, where's that located? You know what I'm talking about? Bakersfield, California. Yeah. Pops. <laughs> Jerry's Pizza. Yeah, well, you fun. guys have, you know, obviously you've been, uh, you've played the Danny's Festivals forever. Um, you know, what is it about uh, Columbus and being here at Sonic Temple uh, that you think makes it so special? And, uh, you know, what can fans expect? I said, first time ever seeing you guys maybe tonight. What can those fans expect? Uh, I mean, I I'm very confident because every time we come to Ohio, it goes cr it's insane. Like the, I know that there's a good amount of fans here because every time we play here, it sells out and stuff, and they really they come in numbers. But uh, for a first time, um, that I I can sing really good. <laughs> I'm a good yeah. singer. I know yeah. that. That's one yeah. thing I know. Yeah, I'm a absolutely. good singer. I can. I slap. Are, it is kind He's of. He's a like, great yeah. drummer. He's one of the best drummers. Yeah. Oh I'm gonna I watched, calm, I'm I've gonna seen all down. your videos. I'm calming <laughs> yeah. down. I'm stopping. Yeah. Thank you. He's the. Never mind. If you get a chance, yeah. check out Luke's. I've I've been watching your drum videos for years. Oh, and thank of course, you. When man. I was yeah. in AP, we nominated uh, multi-time best drummer nomination. Yeah. Incredible thank drummer, you. and I, I love that you two guys have linked up and are, are yeah. playing together. It's good. It's good. Seriously, one of the best drummers. He lets me kind of. You know do what my I love thing and be too? Free we look it, over so. and there's a bunch of drummers from bands that we used to listen to, and they're just standing there watching him. Yeah. And I'm like, that's how you know he's good. You know yeah. what I mean? Because uh, so, they stop and they're yeah, paying attention. Yeah. You know they're checking it out. Yeah. That's good great. times, man. I think right now between uh, him, Travis, and I guess Josh Freeze is now off the market. Yeah. Um, Josh Freeze so is so sick. Insane. By the way, he yeah. joined Foo Fighters. It's yeah. like the good. perfect. Fit. They could not have picked a better guy. Yeah, yeah. You know, I used but, to hire him when I was doing A&R Columbia, like when, when we were having trouble getting the tracks done on certain new bands. Oh, yeah, that's oh, your you guy. Said tracks? That's I would your guy. That? <laughs> yeah. You said tracks? Yeah, I did say tracks. <laughs> and by the way, you know the story. I wrote that article in Loudwire defending and saying how much I love Falling in Reverse and defending the band. Thank you so much. Which is man. really you know, important. Uh, yeah, everybody uses tracks. and yeah. you know, It's so. wild how many people do not understand. It's not very, it's oddly not, not it's really Everyone not controversial. That, yeah. And that's what, that's what me, leads me to when you say if, what fans should expect is yes i can sing because people relate tracks to lip singing i've never lip sync a day in my life no you dude. haven't no. i don't lip sync yeah. uh i say lip sync but it's lip sync yeah you know, i don't know why i say it like that but um yeah i mean we can all attest i mean every, every there's not a video person. you can find yeah. where they they've exposed there's nothing i i want to tell the world that using tracks does not equate to lip syncing bro everybody uses laptops they do trust me you guys would not technology. like it yeah. they wouldn't like the show if they didn't if they didn't know you know what yeah I mean? and they, they want to hear the it. songs with that with that with the depth passion and dimension that they have that you've spent the time recording i mean if the beatles were back on tour right i mean i'm just saying and tracks and again queen 
You know, I've tracks. always said, yeah, take, tracks, sorry, take, yeah, take but, back um, them, but yeah, like if if we went out there and played just two guitars and a bass and singing, it would sound pretty good. Yeah, but people would be like, you know, something's missing. Yeah, it didn't yeah. sound as good. It's yeah. because it's not full and there's not yeah. like this, you know. Like yeah. you need the synth, you need this low end, you need this thing yeah. that it's just a, a thing that all musicians understand. Yep. Anybody that's a real musician will never argue the fact about uh, using tracks. I promise you, I can tell you right now, not yeah. a single 100%. one. Modern people music. People have a right to their necessary. opinion, of course, but I mean, yeah. it's just about having the true knowledge that you share with them, which is true, is that everybody does, even their favorite bands. You know what I mean? They they may not know they it. They don't realize it. Yeah, that's They're like, it God, is. it yeah. sounds incredible. It's like, that's because yeah. there's 100 tracks under this. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> and also, period. Also, like every single one of the vocal tracks that Mutt Lang produced, right? Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, right, exactly. You know, like, people don't realize. And who cares? I don't up. know why don't people care, care so either. much. As long as the performance singers, is great. Know, yeah. like, that's swat. what I wrote in that article, man. I said... You know what? As long as you're putting in all the pat, you're actually singing, and you're and you're, and a band is putting in all the passion and energy into their performance, all that blood, sweat, and tears, and like all that, then that's all. That's that's what it really is. Like rapper, like uh, rap shows. Yeah. Some of them just walk out and go, yeah, 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 and that and their 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 lead vocal tracks playing, yeah. and the crowd is hyped, and that's yeah. a different culture, and that's a dip. That's the way they do it, you know. Yeah. But for me, as as coming from rock and rap, like I have to, my lead vocal, I have to do that. Yeah. It, it's just something inside my body, in my yeah. brain. I have to do this. I can't imagine you ever doing anything like, but that. You know what I mean? Just knowing, you yeah. know, you, you know, there's just no yeah, way. No. no. There's no way because you're too real. You're, I and mean, I don't mean too real. You're real, but you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you're just yeah, yeah. really honest and authentic in every way. So I, I Matt, just couldn't. So what do you think they did when I had to cancel those shows? Because I canceled the shows. Why yeah. didn't I just lip sync? Yeah. You know, You're I lost my voice. That. Yeah. You know? And that's like, and, and you know, you have a right to cancel the show and do it again later because that's the thing, because you want to give it all that you have. Yeah. And I think that's beautiful. I think it's the way it should be done. Yeah. I yeah. sum up all that attitude. It, it, it seems like a giant pile of get off my lawn. That's yeah. how I, 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 when I hear those complaints, like, yes, it doesn't. It just sound it's not going to age well, you know, and it's, it's it's a foolish argument. And I think it's safe to say that haters are going to hate, players are going to play. Yep. And, uh, you know, you and guys play well. Sit, yeah. play He's well. incredible. He's incredible. My both my guitar players are like literally incredible. Yeah. And it's fun. It's mind numbing when people don't realize how they're so good. Yeah. They're good. And that's and that's what good. I wanted to like say good, earlier know? is that people don't understand that there's four singers in the like. Four singers. Yeah. Uh, Everyone. One, two. Uh, Max kind of sings. Max kind of sings, uh, but like, he sings like, real low. But uh, everybody's yeah. harmonizing, Me. playing. It's not yeah. track. Like, yeah. Uh, it frustrates the shit. I don't even sing or play guitar. Yeah. But I see, start, I see the comments. Should, I was like, telling you to put a, 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 a headset. A mic Britney on. Spears headset yeah. mic. Yeah. I'll do it. Janet Jackson. Yeah. Uh, less yeah. less people I, come when, to the show, but I'll do it. I was like, your scream sounds sick. Try it right now. Yeah. I can't. My throat's dry as hell. Do I got it. allergies do right it. now. Do, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> he actually, it we was like, yo, this kind of rips. No, there was there was a day where I had like a bunch of phlegm and shit, and I was yeah. just ripping, dude. It sounded yeah. great. Yeah. That day is long, long since gotta, past. Gotta get you bronchitis again yeah. or something. Again. Straight yeah. up. Yeah. And I'm <laughs> working on it. Yeah. That's the bogles. Yeah. Awesome, right. guys. Thank <laughs> you so much. I'm so excited. We finally had the incredible falling reverse here. Ronnie, Luke. Good luck today at Sonic Temple. You guys are closing out, uh, I believe, it was the Octane stage, or you're on the main stage? I think we're on the main right before uh, Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie, yeah. incredible. I think that's what it is. Right. Well deserved. You know, we've, we've seen you uh, over the years build up uh, to this moment. Thank you. Couldn't happen to better, hardworking dudes. Thank guys, you. Guys, uh, Power Thanks. Hour, Access TV, we've been backstage here. See you out there soon. Thank you, guys. Yes. Power.